Shane, who were the big winners now from tonight's game and who, like what players lost ground looking into the first test? Razzy Erasmus and a number of the uh, Springboks or, or potential Springboks probably came out of this um, game the best. But from the um, Lions side of things, I think Tom Curry had a very strong game. Um, I think he will play in the back row and probably at seven. And, and that might be uh, a good thing for um, Tyg Byrne and, and potentially also Jack Conan. And I thought Tolo, um, uh, Falatau was, was pretty anonymous today and, and, and is in there on reputation at the moment, I think. Mario Toje had another big game. Um, Ian Henderson up to this point, I think, has looked like a lock-in. But all of a sudden, that's thrown up in the air a little bit with the performance of Atoje today, um, along with uh, Alan Wynne-Jones coming back. And if he comes back, you're going to think that Alan Wynne-Jones is certainly going to start in the first test. Um, other than that, I think Elliot Daly went well when he came on. And that conversation, um, given the performance of Farrell and the form Farrell has been showing, he comes in as a live option at 13. I think Andy Watson also did uh, himself no harm. But aside from that, I don't think... Um, there was too many players who moved their case on uh, for selection in the first tense uh, too, uh, too much. Do you agree, Alan? Yeah, I think players are going to play themselves out rather than playing themselves in. And um, in the first four games that they played, I think um, you know there was some standouts. I think Tyburn has a great chance. And as Shane said, I think she, Jack Conan now has a chance because of Falatau's lack of, of dominance in his performance tonight. But um, very difficultly, there's a lot of uncertainty around who will play and who won't play in, in that first test. Um, it'll be really interesting to see the guys who play tonight, can they double up? Some of them might on the bench and stuff, but I think uh, Saturday is the last chance really and what they do in training. So um, still a lot of uncertainty about the selections for that first test. Yeah, it really is so open yeah, still, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And, uh, you know, looking back in the last four or five Lions tours and um, analysing them and looking at them and hoping to be on one or two of them, um, there's so many star players and, and I'm just worried that this tour and this group of players is lacking a bit of dominance and leadership and real standout form players. Um, and someone like Conan or Byrne or even Bundy Aki could start that first test. Um, hopefully Robbie Henshaw will be back in the mix as well this weekend. So we could have a good Irish contingent lining out on Saturday week. Shane, what would your biggest concern be going into next week in the first test? Um, I think we've got a, a game plan or there's a potential game plan um, materialised uh, today on how to beat South Africa. I think, uh, and a lot of that is based around the Rook. Um, our Rook was very slow in the first half and that meant that we had no tempo. And you, if you remember back to the Japanese game, um, the, one of the big um, elements of the, the Lions' performance was getting tempo into the game. They were tapping and going. They were kicking the line out quickly, resetting the line out really quickly. We didn't see that. And I think an element of that was um, that the, the rook ball was so slow, so they couldn't get tempo. If they do get that tempo, it has a lot of knock-on positive consequences. It means the, um, the ball carrying for the next phase can be a, a lot more powerful, a lot more dominant. And um, the phase after that becomes faster. Kicking options are better. You're kicking on the front foot against the rush defense, which isn't rushing quite so much. And you have uh, the opportunity to get offloads. The Lions only had one offload in that first half, which really isn't going to work against the Springboks. And then um, the, the other opportunity it gives you is to get around that rush defense that we've seen uh, employed by South Africa A today and definitely in the Springboks um, in the first test.